Hey, what's up guys? This is David. If we have not met before, my name is David from the Digital Essentialist, digitalessentialist.com. We cover everything and anything you need Squarespace wise. So if you're building your site, you're customizing your site, you're doing any of that stuff, this is a great place for you. Before we continue, please hit that like button. YouTube loves it. It helps me out a lot. And if you find this video valuable, I would certainly appreciate that. Also, if you could subscribe, if you like, anything, any more information on Squarespace. I constantly put out updates, tricks I'm using, other things I'm using that really help this process become way easier. I've built hundreds of sites, literally, and so I want to be able to give you this information and help you with your build. So in this video, we're gonna cover two things that help you customize your site, that allow you to feel like it's your own site, especially if you wanna just add those little touches that make you feel special. First thing we're gonna cover is how to set up your tech. So say you have heading one, as you may know, Squarespace has heading one, two, three, body text. Let's say your heading one is black text and you'd like that black text to read a different color. Well, there's ways to change it for an entire section, but what if you wanna just change it for one word? We're gonna walk through that now. So as you see on my screen, I'm in the middle of a process of developing this site, building this site, and what you see here, senior leadership, diverse perspectives. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see here, I'm in Squarespace, I'm at pages, um, and the page is down here. This is again, very much at the beginning of the process. So in here, if I click edit on this section, what you're gonna see is this section up here is actually a bit of code. So let me double click. So a few things. So here, I've added this code. I'm gonna walk you through what this code is, how it's laid out, and how you could adjust it for yourself. Without getting too, too technical or too many details, basically I have the text center, I have the center tag here. There's like three ways to do that, but that's just how I have it. It works great, it works on all devices, fabulous. So if I got rid of this, you'll see the text will throw off to the left. Uh, cool. And then you see this H2 tag. So right now I'm using all the styling for H2. So for heading two, if I wanted it to be heading one, I would change it like that. As you can see, it's a lot larger, it's a different font. If I want heading three, it changes it like that, uh, and so on. But I like it to be heading two. Here, for some reason, this is kind of an odd quirk, and I probably, you might not need this, but because my font is bold here, for some reason, it's not grabbing it as bold font. As you can see, it's just grabbing the normal, font, I have this B here, which just basically means bold. And as you can see with any of these tags, there's a closing tag. So here's the open, and then here's all the close. Cool. So let's go through this. This is probably the most advanced setup, but let me go through this. So center, you see it gives you already the, the closing tag. Then I'm gonna do H2, and then close that. And then I'm gonna do the B, and then, just so you see everything, and then here I'm gonna write my first words. So as you can see, it just adds all that, and then I can write more and more and more, and what it'll do is it'll just kind of continue it to fill the space, um, let me go up here, to fill the space and then form new lines as it goes on. Because I wanted to have two lines, I use this code that is BR, which pretty much means line break. So after seeing your leadership, I have a line break for diverse perspectives. Be mindful of this. This works in this case because it's only two words or four words in total. Sometimes this causes more problems than helps when you're talk, looking at mobile because then it'll make the words break in a weird spot. Different video for a different topic, but just be mindful of if you use the BR for the break that it could look a little bit different on different devices. All right, and then here, now this is the magic. Now this is where all of this video comes down to. So let me zoom in. So basically, all you need is this thing here called span. So when we add this and this tag, all you do is copy and paste this. I'm gonna give you this in the footnotes or if there's not in the footnotes, it'll be in a link to go to the website where you could grab all this code. But basically it's span and then style, color, and then you use the hex code. So let's go to converting colors. 
This website is great. It's called convertingcolors.com. Here you can find everything for like a color you have. So any type of color you have, if you have the RGB, CMYK, any kind of color code you have, you could find um, the specific hex code. So you need the hex code here. So if I copy this and then I go back and I paste that here to replace this color, you'll now see that diverse is the same turquoise color here. All right. And then you basically wrap that. So everything gets wrapped, right? So like you're wrapping a gift, it gets wrapped around the word that you want it to change the color for. Um, and I don't want it to change perspective. So perspectives is left alone. Then the bold is there, is closed. The H2 is closed and the center is closed. All right, so let me zoom out. This was my little creation I was doing down here. Let me just get rid of that. One thing to keep in mind, let's say you don't wanna have it center or you don't wanna have it bold. Well, two things if you do that. Number one, you'll see all these just turn red down here. If you get rid of one of the tags, just make sure you get rid of the other tag. So then the open and close both get deleted. So you'll see that it will sort itself still be the same here. As I want to keep them, I will keep them both there. And then there we go. And everything is back to how I want it. So that is one useful, super simple, super simple trick to set up your Squarespace site. Um, so you have a little bit of flair in it. There's other ways that people can do this with through the custom CSS panel and other things. So if you see a different method that works for you, great. I hope this works for you. There's one thing I also want to show you in this case, which is making text fall in line. Now, let me show you how this problem goes. Okay, so for part two of this, this is what we're gonna touch on. You've probably seen this before, and this is a bit annoying probably. All right, so let's, let me show you how it looks and then we'll go from there. So let's say you're typing this. Heading one, this is heading one, right? And then you wanna put like a description below it. Okay, so there's a big problem here, right? Number one, um, let me just give a little bit more space here so you can see what I'm working with. Okay, so this description is supposed to go below. The only thing is this spacing in between is like, way too much like this space right here like yikes I don't want all that space how do you solve that well you can try to do it through the site styles but in the site styles they may not give you a lot of options around what you can do because then it will format all the text to look a little bit funny but there's another way to do this so let's take a look what I'm going to do is I'm going to create code block and then here this is what I'm going to do so for heading one, depending on what you like, there's heading one, two, three, right? Uh, this is what you would do. So you would basically just type in H1 style equals this little thing. I'm gonna give you all this text so you don't even have to worry about it. Display inline, close this. So you can see it pops up with the end of that. And I'll do heading one and then below that i'm going to do just regular body so body is p for a paragraph i'm going to do p and then i'll do description below it all right so already you can see that it it looks way better um this is like the spacing now between this is really nice. Let me hit apply. Let me get rid of this menu. There we go. So you'll see there's a lot, the spacing is just a lot better in between the first one than the second one. Now let's say you have something like description below it that is a full sentence and requires you to more. Let's say you, want something like this. Okay, so first of all, sometimes you want headlines to kind of stack on each other. So maybe you will have this, let's just do it like this actually to keep it a little bit more simple. Let's say you want this sentence below here to kind of just go a certain length of the page. 
Well, what you can do here is for p, we'll do style again, and then we'll do max width, and then let's just do, to test it, 150 pixels, and then close. All right, so you can see it kind of throws the text over there. Now, this is a little bit too small. We go 250, I probably want a little bigger. Let me try 320. Yes, and that looks much, much ni nicer. If I want to do a line break, I could do this BR, and basically it'll do a line break here. So you'll see how that shows up. And now you're getting the sense of, that gives you, there's a lot of tech companies like this when you do information on the left and information on the right, like with, it, with graphics uh, next to each one. Uh, this is definitely something that people love to do on websites. And so, let me get rid of this. And now you can see it here that there is this beautiful, beautiful like structure to the section. Let me hit save. And doesn't that look so nice? Cool. And there it is, <laughs> just like that. So those are two tricks that I find really helpful with designing Squarespace sites. Once you have that in your belt, it's easy just to think and be like, oh, this would work really well here, or this could work really well there. To add that small flair to the site that helps your clients or your site. With that said, thank you for watching. Again, please like the video below if you find this useful. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And I have a promo code somewhere here for 20% off your first year with Squarespace if you sign up for a year membership. All right, hope that's helpful. See you guys next time.